Hey gang, how you doing? Pastor Jerry here. And um, I told you guys, I think it was, what today, Monday? I t think I told you on Sunday that I wanted to kind of begin to talk, have our conversation about anger and about why we're angry, why people get angry, and or why their anger is sometimes out of control. And so, um, you know what? Let's pray real quick. And then as people come on, they can kind of uh, say hi. And then we can go into this conversation. So, Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this time we have. And we thank you, Lord, that we can learn more about ourselves, learn more about your grace and your love. And that we can alleviate ourselves of unnecessary anger that doesn't cause righteousness, Father. We thank you. We praise your name. Amen. So, oh, hey, Dominique. Hey, Nikki. What's up, girl? Um we talked on Sunday about how I really wanted to begin to talk to people about anger and about how anger can um, change people, how it can um, begin to disrupt your life, how it can begin to um, just um, de destroy everything that you ever built. And so um, I was talking about this on Sunday and I wanted to kind of bring out some different points because uh, first of all, Let's understand that anger isn't bad. Um, there, there, the, the Bible talks about a godly anger, a godly indignation. Um, we know, all know the story about Jesus when he got angry uh, in the temple. We all know that Paul and Barnabas um, got into a big fight. They were angry. And so I don't want you all to think that anger is bad. Hey, Miss Ratcliffe. So anger is not bad in itself. The issue is when anger gets to be uncontrollable. And anger gets to a point where it's an everyday occurrence and you're angry at the drop of a hat. And then that anger goes from anger to rage to destruction. And that's where we kind of lose it. That's where we lose our witness as Christians and even not only as Christian, but also as people. By the way, if you're watching this on Facebook, thank you so much. Um, I'll make sure that I put a link in the comments page so you guys can uh, hop on to my YouTube channel, Sin City Pastors. If you're watching this on the YouTube channel, thank you so much. Please subscribe and share and um, so I can tell the whole world about Jesus Christ. So anyway, so I wanted to kind of go over anger and why people are angry. And so let's discuss the uh, root and the symptoms of anger. So um, everything has a root. Every fruit has a root. And when you see someone doing things like um, moodiness, that could be a symptom of an anger issue. When you see someone being sarcastic, when you see someone being short or curt, when you see someone being just kind of mean and, and, and spiteful, that's a root of anger. So we have to separate those two things from the, the, the symptom and the root. So if they're like that, then why is that there? Well, there's a root of anger. Um, I believe, because I've done a lot of counseling over the years, that everyone has a traumatic event in their lives that changes them for good or for bad. And when someone is continually angry, always angry, always sarcastic, always curt, always irritable, always moody, uh, there is an issue with that. There is a problem because something happened back in the day that made them, uh, caused them to, to feel that way. And, and it was one or two or three of many numerous um, um, actions by somebody else that caused them to get this way and have this mindset. So that's, first of all, the root and also the symptom of anger. And again, the Bible says that anger is not sin, but it says in your anger, don't sin. Um, because it says that, the anger of man does not bring about the righteousness of God. And so if you're angry just to be angry, that does not even bless God or glorify God, and it doesn't edify anybody else. But there are times that you should get angry at the things that are happening, like abortion, like um, no prayer in schools, like um, drunk driving, things like that. Th things like that should get us angry, uh, and we should want to change that. But um, just because someone sat in your seat at church, just because someone... Um, cut you off in traffic. There's no need to get rage on that. All right. So that's the first part. So where does the root start? Well, in my experience, hey, Steve, 
in uh, in my experience, um, the main thing that causes people to get angry is either just like I said earlier, there's some kind of traumatic event that happened. Uh, but but the but uh, uh, but one of the main things is is people are not being heard. So if you felt like your whole life growing up that you were never heard and uh, no one ever listened to you, you never felt value, uh, validated or valuable, uh, you never felt like uh, people took you seriously, um, that could bring about a lot of anger. Um, so lack of validation, uh, that's one thing. This, the second thing of, is, uh, is lack of identity. If you don't know who you are, um, you're either going to be very depressed or very angry or passive aggressive um, because you don't know who you are. You're trying to be somebody else and you go back and forth, back and forth. And, and that gets tiring after a while. And then the last thing, which is probably one of the hardest things is rejection. Um, when you feel rejected, when you feel unwanted, when you feel like no one wants you, when you feel like you're the only one who's strange or, or, the, or the only one that has, well, like for instance, I mean, I grew up with big ears all through elementary school and um, all through junior high school. And, you know, it was, it, you know, it was hard. Now, obviously I think my head has grown, has grown into my ears. That's a good thing, but it, you know, it hurt. And so I felt rejected by a lot of my friends because they made fun of me. And so that's a small indication or small circumstance, but other people made fun of, you know, in, in, in elementary school about, you know, they, they may have pimples, they may have a big head, they may walk funny, they, they, whatever the case may be, they may be overweight, they, they may be skinny, they may have no father, they may have no mother. Um, there are a lot of areas that the enemy can come in and cause an offense in your heart and make you angry. And then whenever that issue pops up, because you never dealt with it, because you never let it go, because you never gave it to the Lord, because you never walked in forgiveness, it becomes a festering sore full of pus. And that's why there is rage. Because initially when someone hurts you, hey Brian, you get angry or you get hurt. But when you go from the issue or the incident and you bypass hurt and you go to rage, you know that you have a problem. So anger is not sin, but the reason you get angry, the frequency that you get angry, and the reason you get angry can be sin. And so I want everyone to kind of challenge themselves and just kind of sit back and say, okay, do I have an issue with anger? Um, you ask yourself, okay, do I get angry often? Maybe. Uh, do I get angry at, at, uh, at the small things? Maybe. And so ask yourself, do I have an issue with, with being angry or getting angry too fast? Because again, um, the Bible says, and we always got to go back. The Bible is our roadmap. Okay. And so I'll always refer to that a lot, but we have to go back to the initial part of it where it says, um, that the, the anger of man, the carnal anger of man does not bring about literally God's will because we're angry about something that God isn't angry about. And that's the issue. And so Anyway, that's going to be pretty much day one. So I want you guys to think about that. And so the things I wrote down, I'll, I'll share them with you real quick. Number one, you've got to figure out uh, your roots of anger. Why did you get angry? What happened back in the day that uh, that made you angry? Did your father abuse you? Were, uh, were you molested? Were you raped? Um, did you have a car accident? Did you flunk out of school? Did people make fun of you? Uh, did you have a, tra a, a traumatic injury? Uh, the next thing is, um, what does the Bible say about that? You've got to go back to the word of God and it'll tell you how you should respond. And then not feeling heard, uh, lack of identity and rejection. And one last thing I didn't talk about was unrealized expectations. Um, when you hope and hope and hope and hope and hope for something and you plan for it, you dreamed of it and that didn't come to pass, that can open a door of offense and see all anger is is an offense. You are offended. Someone offends you. You you pick up an offense. And unfortunately, a lot of people pick up offenses that weren't meant to be theirs in the first place. So we have to kind of sit back and dissect why am I angry and what caused this anger? And why does my anger go to rage? And why does my anger... Hey, Bob, good to see you. I, I want some brisket, by the way. Um, why does my anger go to rage? 
And why do I get angry so fast? Why do, why do I get angry so often? And why am I getting angry over something so small? Because uh, as Christians, you show your level of maturity by how often, how quick, and at what we get angry at. All right. Well, that's it for tonight. Uh, hope that helped a lot. Hope it helped at all. And uh, we'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll come back tomorrow, bring you a little bit more stuff to talk about. But let's figure out, first of all, you do your homework. You figure out what is your root. What is your root of anger and what are your symptoms of anger? And um, who do you get angry at? Normally, you get angry at the people who are, who are closest around you. And they feel your rage. And um, people who are ragers often hide around people that, that they want to impress. So you've got to make sure that you're being authentic. And people who are ragers and people who are always angry, they aren't very authentic. They will, will, they'll be certain ways around people they don't want to, that they want to impress. But around family, close friends, they're themselves and they're ugly. So, all right. If you like this, please share this. Um, I'll be back tomorrow night. Not sure when, but I'll be back tomorrow night to, uh, to, uh, to share some more. If you're on YouTube, yes, please click that subscribe button and uh, also um, ring the notification bell. And you guys have a great night and we love you and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.